so hello everyone welcome welcome to today's video so today we are going to set up ESLint for any kind of JavaScript project so in this video for the practice we will use react JavaScript but you can do it with any kind of JavaScript project so let's see how we can do that so right now we have a JavaScript I mean react project which is a vid project and in the package.json you can see this is just normal vid project so in here we need to install our ESLint depth dependency first of all so let's do that so here i will say npm install dash d eslint so it will install eslint as a depth dependency so here you can see inside of our depth dependency we can see eslint and after that we need to create the configuration so for that i will run this command which is the npm init eslint config so npm init at eslint slash config and it will ask some questions so we need to answer those so here you can see the first question so i will select uh, to check the syntax find problem and enforce code style so after that it will ask us uh, are we using javascript modules or common js so here we are using import export which means we are using javascript modules so i will use that so javascript modules and after that we need to choose our framework so here we have options for react and vue.js and you can choose uh, none of these if you, you are using any kind of other frameworks so we are using react so that's why i will choose react here and after that are we using typescript so no if you are using you can provide yes so after that where does our code will run so our code will run in browser so that's fine but but if you are using this for any kind of server side project you can actually choose node but in this case i will run this code in the browser so i will choose browser so after that we have two options we can use a popular style guide or we can actually answer more questions about these styles and based on those answers it will configure our ESLint. but what we will do is we will use a popular style guide so choose this popular style guide here and after that here we have some popular style guide and we will choose airbnb and after that what will be the format for our config file so it will be javascript so that's all here you can see uh, it is the list of all packages that will be required for our ESLint setup so it will actually generate all the packages names here you can see and it will ask us to install that so we want to install that so i will choose yes and i will choose npm to install those packages and if i select that you can see using npm it is installing all the packages that is required for our ESLint setup so that's it so all the packages are installed and and beside that we have a ESLint RC file here you can see so here in our ESLint RC we have our configuration and that's all so that's all and if you notice here we are actually having our ESLint errors which means our ESLint is already working and we can see some of the errors here so we are almost there we need to install two more extension so these are the VS code extension and the first one is the ESLint and if you search for ESLint you will find this uh, extension from Microsoft install that and after that also you need prettier so we will use prettier to do the code formatting so here is the prettier so install these two so once we install these two packages after that you need to actually uh, provide the settings for them so here what you can do actually you can actually go here in the settings and after that you can set up your ESLint and PTA extension but what I will do is I will uh, add the settings as a JSON in our root directory so for that in our root directory we need to create a dot vs code folder here dot vs code folder and inside this folder we need a file with the name of settings dot json so the name is important settings dot json so inside this settings dot json we need some settings for our bs code so i already have those settings so let me actually show you so here in a gist i already have the settings that will be required so here we have all the necessary settings for our eslint and prettier so i'll copy that and also i will link this in our video description so check the video description for this gist so i will just paste it here so now let's go through what we have here so first of all editor dot default formatter so default formatter will be prettier and after that format on save will be true so whenever we will save our file it will automatically format it and after that javascript and react 
and for this two i will say editor dot format on save will be false because we will format our file means we will format javascript and react using eslint not prettier so that's why i said false here and after that code action on save i said fix all true which means whenever i will save my file it will fix all the auto fixable error automatically so that's cool and after that eslint always show a status which will show eslint status always and after that eslint validate so these are the so these are the language that will be available for our eslint and after that we have some prettier specific settings so use tab something like jsx single code tab with error parents and single code so these are the prettier specific uh, settings that i thought that uh, that will be good to have so if you want to actually tweak any kind of settings you can do it directly here and it will be effective to this project immediately so that's it once you have the settings you are ready to go and now it should work here and before we uh, save our file so once we save the file it should work it should automatically fix all the auto fixable error and before that what i want to do actually is i want to reload my window so here in the Control shift p you can reload you can type reload window and here you can actually reload this current vs code window so sometimes it will not work in the first time so it will help you if you actually uh, reload the window and now it should work so now if i actually control s if i do control s to save this file now you can see all the auto fixable error is fixed automatically and we have some eslint error so now let's test the formatting so if i have some extra indentation here so some extra tabs so and if i save that all the extra tabs should be gone automatically it should be formatted yeah so looking good and also we have some errors so these are eslint error and if you wanna see what is the error you can actually hover and you will find the error so here you can see we have an error so react must be in a scope when using jsx so right now in vite you do not need to actually import react in every file but here we are actually having the eslint error that you should have uh, react in your scope so one way you can actually fix that you can actually import react here sorry react and as you can see the error is gone but we do not need to import react in every file so we do not need this uh, role of our eslint so how to customize a eslint role so let's see how we can do that so for that you need to copy the name of the role so for that you can hover the error and after that you will see the name of the error so just copy the name of the role here and after that i will go to the eslint rc file and here i have the roles and inside the roles i will have the name of the role and after that you can provide some numbers so first of all let's see how we can actually turn it off so for that i will provide zero and if i provide zero and after that if i come here as you can see this error is now gone so that's how you can turn off any kind of error and if you want this role as a warning what you can do is you can make it one and if i save that now instead of an error it is an warning you can see these underlines these are yellow now which means it is a warning so you can make any kind of role and warning by setting this as a value of one and after that if you make it two it will be error as you can see so now it is an error so i want to turn it off so for that i will provide zero so it will turn it off and that's it and after that we have another error here so let's see so here you can see missing an explicit type attribute so we need to add a type attribute for our button so provide that type will be a button and it is all so now here you can see this error is gone and another error which is count is already declared so in our so in our upper scope we already declared this count so the name is actually same so that's why it is complaining us so let's say that i will use value here and also this should be value and now all the eslint error is gone so it seems that our eslint setup is working but there is one more thing that we need to set up which is the react hooks so for that let's actually test it so if our react hooks roles are working or not so for that let's use a hook so for that let's use the use effect hook so use effect and here we will say 
in this function we will console log the count and here we will have an empty um, dependency array so that's it and if i save that we need to import that it is already auto imported so we have our use effect hook and also uh, here is a warning which is actually no console so if i scroll down i can see the error so here you can see expected console statement no console so if you want to turn off you can turn off this role now it is turned off so the warning is gone as you can see that's great so here you can see we are using a use effect and inside the use effect we are console logging our count and we should add our count as a dependency array but we are not uh, adding it in our dependency array so which means it should give us an warning or error but it is not giving us any kind of warning or error which means our rules of hooks it is not working so if i come here in our package.json here you can see react hooks so this is the package for our react hooks which is not working so for that we need to do a little bit more configuration in our ESLint rc and if i come here in our um, browser and if i search for react hooks role and after that you can see the react.js official documentation and if i come here so this is the rules of hooks page from official react documentation and if i scroll down here you will see how you can set up the eslint plugin so the plugin name is eslint plugin react hooks which we already installed and after that to use this in our project we need to add this in our plugin plugin array so we need to add this in our plugin array so let's add that so in our eslint rc we have a plugin array and here i need to say react hooks and beside that we need to add these two roles so copy that and after that we need to add this here and if i save that now it should be fine now if i come here in our app.jsx here we have an warning which is coming from if i hover that you can see this is coming from react hooks which is the extension that we have here so which means our eslint plugin react hooks is working so now if you want to fix that you can actually hover that and let's see so react hooks use effect has a missing dependency which is the count so if you want to remove that you need to add the count here so now you can see the warning is now removed and our eslint is happy so now all the rules of our react hooks will be applicable here so that's it that's it for this video now our this project is ready to work with eslint and prettier extension so here all you need to do is you need to run this command and after that you need to answer all the questions correctly and based on your question answers it will provide the list of all the packages that will be required for your eslint setup and after that you need to install that based on what your preference you can install it with npm or any kind of other package manager and that's all you will install everything and after that you need to configure your ESLint roles based on your requirement and finally make sure that you have the settings for your ESLint and prettier extension so these are the VS code extension settings not the npm packages so make sure that you have ESLint and prettier VS code extension installed and it should be fine so that's it I hope this will be helpful for you and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more video like this one please subscribe the channel and i will see you very soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and kodahafis